This is the TT Artisan 7.5 millimeter f2 fisheye lens. And if you're gonna get a fisheye lens, actually, even if you don't want a fisheye lens, get this lens. So I hadn't been shooting with a fisheye lens for a couple of years. When I switched over from my DSLR to mirrorless, I did kind of a lens renaissance. I couldn't justify keeping the Canon 8 to 15 millimeter fisheye lens that I had. I just wasn't using it enough. So I traded it in and I've been without a fisheye lens for a couple of years. And a few months ago I said, you know what, let me try to get back into what's available for the Canon RF mount. What's out there uh, that I can get in a fisheye lens. So basically I got pretty much the cheapest fisheye lens that I could find, which was the TT Artisans 7.5 millimeter F2 fisheye lens. It's about $130 with shipping and everything. It was about, it was less than $150. Uh, I picked up this lens, no expectations whatsoever, other than let me just take it out and play around with some fisheye images. And I absolutely love using this lens. Now, other than the actual images that you get from fisheye, which are, you know, really unique. This lens is special in a few other ways. It's really, really inexpensive. So, you know, like I said, even if you don't want a fisheye lens, grab it, play around with it, try it. It's very, very well built, very solid. It's a little heavy for its size, but it's very small. You can see, let me show you on the camera itself, how small this lens really is. So, mounted to the Canon R5, I mean, that's it. That's the whole thing. Uh, you know, it feels very nice on this camera. Uh, everything on this is manual. The focus is manual, the aperture is manual, but it's really, it's easy to use. Once you get the hang of it, you know, rather than setting the aperture on your buttons and dials on top of your digital camera here, you just rotate the ring here and the aperture, you're watching in real time on your camera how the uh, how the exposure changes based on changing the aperture. Easy enough to do. Focusing, you really don't need to worry too much about focusing with a fisheye lens. Depth of field is super, super deep. Everything is in focus, but if you're gonna be close focusing to something, again, it's easy enough to do. If you only use focus peaking in your digital camera, uh, where the what's in focus, even though you're using manual, what's in focus lights up in whatever color you want, use that, but it's really easy to focus. So. Everything's manual in here, which is fine. So the special things about this lens, really, really inexpensive, really, really small. It's an F2 lens. Most lenses, most fisheye lenses are around F4. There's a couple of 2.8 lenses. This is an F2 lens, which means I'm shooting in even darker situations, uh, being able to handhold it in darker situations, open up at F2. Another really cool feature, the lens cap. Now, all fisheye lenses have these weird lens caps that just kind of go on, and they just, they don't lock, they don't screw on. Um, this has basically the same thing, and it, I found it was very loose. Um, it doesn't even sit totally flat. It kind of rocks back and forth a little bit when you put it on. Uh, so what I did about that is I put a little tiny piece of gaffer tape on the side over here, uh, just to give it a little bit more friction uh, when it holds on. So you gotta be careful with it. Um, you know, it could pop off on its own, so just be careful. Uh, but the lens uh, caps, I might have said lens hood before, I mean lens cap. The lens caps for these things are are pretty typically uh, not uh, stable. So be a little bit careful with that. But the really cool thing about this is this little screw off feature in the front here. So I can screw the front of the lens cap off. And now I have the lens cap still on there. And I have an opening that I can shoot through. Now this is gonna give you, you know, since it's fisheye, you're basically getting 180 degree angle of view. It's gonna block the, you know, the outsides which if you're shooting a circular image, which this will give you a circular image. If you're shooting a circular image, it's gonna kinda of crop around the edges, but it's gonna give it a nice hard crop around the edges, so you're gonna get a nice hard circle. The other thing I really love about this is shooting through glass through windows. If you wanna shoot window displays, if you wanna shoot through glass into another area, really the only way to eliminate glare on the glass is to have your lens pressed firmly up against the lens so that no light leaks in from anywhere else. Uh, with other lenses, with big lens hoods uh, or lenses that you know don't have a front element sticking out at all, it's easy enough to do. You can just put it up against the glass. With a fisheye lens, you never really have that because you have the front element sticking out a little bit too far. You can never get up against the glass without light coming in from the sides or above. With this thing though, you can actually put it right up against the glass and it'll cut the glare out from all around. 
Uh, again, you're losing a little bit of your image because you have this cropping around the edges, um, but it's really cool to use. It's worth it for the little bit of image that you're using to be able to shoot through windows if you want to shoot, like I said, window displays and things like that. So that's a really cool feature of this. For 150 bucks, it's it's got a, you know, a few real nice things that other fisheye lenses don't have. Hey guys, future Eric here. I just realized as I was editing this video, I forgot to mention another really, really cool feature of this lens. It comes with a tiny little 10 stop neutral density filter that screws onto the back of the lens. It's really cool. It's got threads in the front and there's a little threaded spot in the back here of the lens. You screw it right on there and attach it to your camera. It's really, really cool because with super wide angle lenses and fisheye lenses, it's really hard to use any kind of filters on these because of the big front element. So you'd have to get a filter that's like really, you know, huge compared to this to be able to put in front of this so it doesn't actually get in the frame. So for a fisheye lens to be able to use a neutral density filter like this that just screws right onto the back, tiny little thing, it's included. Really, really cool feature. I wanted to make sure I told you about that because that's one, another one of the reasons I love this lens. As far as the image quality goes, like I said, I used for years the Canon 8-15 to f4 fisheye lens, which is one of the best. Um, I really don't see any difference in image quality between that and this. It's not as good color wise. I find myself having to correct colors a little bit more, uh, being try having to saturate a little bit more in certain spots of the image. Sharpness is just as sharp as, you know, any of these, uh, you know, be careful with fisheye lenses though, because you're getting such a huge image. There's so much in the image that if you have bright spots and dark spots, you can have blown out highlights. You can have totally black, uh, shadows because uh, there's just so much in the image that it takes a little bit more work in editing uh, to get it maybe just right, just how you envisioned it when you were shooting. But um, I highly, highly recommend if you want to get a fisheye lens, uh, try this one out for sure. I think you'll love it. I really, I'm just having fun. I'm having so much fun using it and finding different situations. And actually it's, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve shooting with fisheye. You have to figure out, you have to learn how to frame it. I'm really still learning, still developing. Uh, my own skills on how to do that, but a lot, a lot of fun to use. It's the TT Artisan 7.5 millimeter f2 lens. Comes in all different mounts, and you can get it for shipped for under under 150 bucks. So highly recommend it. Check it out. Uh, if you have any comments or anything you want to add to this, if there's other fisheye lenses that you use, put them down in the comments below. If you love this, tell me how much you love it. Put it in the comments below. I'll put a link here in the description. Uh, to where you can get this on Amazon. You can you know, find your mount and, uh, and pick it up yourself. So I highly recommend it. So that's it. Any other comments or questions, put them down below. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.